Good morning everyone, today we will be visiting a site for detail and understanding of a substructure work. Let's go! I have reached the site. This is a landed double story project. Let me show you the substructure construction process. The site is quite muddy after the heavy downpour yesterday night. Let me find a way to walk in. To show you the first stage of the construction process, which is the piling work. This is the completed piling work. The project uses reinforced concrete square pile. It has 4 numbers of pile per pile cap. For Hume RC pile, the size ranging from 150mm, 150mm to 400 by 400mm. You see the pit is flooded with rainwater from yesterday night. Here are the formwork of the pile cap is being erected after the precast pile is being put into the ground. Here these workers are clearing the pit to ensure it is dry before casting. Water pump generated by fuel is used to dewatering or removing excess water accumulated in the pit. The water built up due to the heavy rain yesterday. The worker is trying to place the pump head into the pit properly to create a vertical suction lift on the excess water without sucking up the soil and jam the pump. He is trying to adjust the pump head again to avoid clogging. The another man on the right is checking the pile cap formwork to ensure it is ready to be casted later when the ready mix concrete arrives. This pipe is the discharge pipe where the excess water in the pit is being dewatered. Next, these are the pile cap and column stump that have been casted and the formwork have been removed after the concrete is dry. After that, the pile cap and column stump will be filled up with compacted soil before placing rebar for ground beam. Here comes the rebar and formwork of the ground beam are being placed. You can see here, these ground beams are for 4 units of houses and it will take 4 to 6 hours to cast it later in the afternoon. The site supervisor explained the marking. He did the marking for finishing floor level ahead so he could visualize the casting and soil filling to ensure he could work smoothly and has a right finishing floor level later. So here comes the wet concrete. And now, 
the casting process take place. Crane is used to lift the concrete bucket and two workers are directing the ground beam casting process. The another one worker back there is using a vibrator to vibrate the wet concrete to ensure the mixture is liquefied. Allow the concrete mix to move around more easily in whenever form we are placing the wet concrete. This helps to ensure that enough concrete gets into every little nook and cranny to avoid voids. Furthermore, it allows air bubble in the wet concrete mixture to escape. As of by doing this, the final concrete cast will be honeycomb free. After the wet concrete is being placed in the formwork, while waiting for the next bucket of concrete, few workers use masonry trowel to fill up and flatten the wet concrete. This activity including the vibrating of concrete is very important in the concrete casting process especially in a very tight space for the concrete mixture to flow around like this thin ground beam design after the ground beam is dry after casting this is how the formwork is being removed few workers are using the claw from a hammer to remove the nail and open the formwork. Crowbar and shovel also being used to have a better torque in pulling the formwork open. After removal of the ground beam from work, the filling process takes place before casting the floor slab. Here is the footage after the lean corn is casted. The plumbing, sewage and conduit pipe shall be all completely placed before the lean corn can be casted. The waterproof layer is placed above the lean corn. Now, BRC is placed on top of the waterproofing layer. This worker is tying the BRC and placing concrete cover on it to ensure the BRC is in a proper position after casting. Do you notice the upper part of the ground beam is remain and to be casted together with the slab? This is actually how a ground beam and slab is being joined and casted on site that many of us cannot visualize how the actual method of constructions of this casting process take place. Now I'm done for the visit. You see our shoes are full of mud. We shall wash our shoes before leaving the site to ensure we don't bring soil and mud out to the functioning road and contaminate it. 
Okay, we are done for today. I'm lucky to wear a tall boots for the visit. The site was full of mud which covered half of my boot just now. That's all for today's video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe to my channel for more related videos. Thank you. Bye!